all right welcome back to another g auto repair youtube video and today we are going to be trying for the very first time our brand new in cylinder pressure transducer that i just purchased from uh, digital zaka and uh or at least i hope that's how it's pronounced and um it just so happens i got this vehicle here this hyundai uh, it's in for spark plugs and a couple other simple routine maintenances so I figured it was the perfect opportunity to try it out. I gotta pull the spark plugs anyway, so might as well uh, play with the new toy. So what we're gonna do here today is just try it out. I've already pulled out the spark plug. I've pre-installed everything. I got the uh, adapter with the rubber flex hose. I got the uh, unit up here, and I got it hooked up to the uh, uh, Maxi Flash VCMI for the Altel Ultra which I have over here and uh, the one thing that I didn't like right off the bat is uh, that adapter for this particular spark uh, plug I don't know if they're all like that but this one was kind of wobbly um, it's, it's not straight so I tried using that that rigid tube um, if you've seen the uh, the unboxing I've, uh, I, I've already done And uh, I'll, uh, sorry, I got a phone call, so I got derailed. Um, I got, uh, I already did the uh, unboxing and whatnot. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out. But there's a uh, solid tube that goes in there for recessed uh, spark plugs. And uh, I tried using that, but it was kind of the tube. I noticed it was wobbly. So I was like, what the heck is going on here? So it's actually the fitting. Now the tube is the fitting. It's, it's kind of crooked ever so slightly so when you try to use the tube it kind of wobbles so I didn't like that so I just used the flex hose and hopefully I won't have any more issues I don't know if they're all like that or just that one but that I did not like it should have been straight and it should be it should go in straight so but it came from China what what can I say uh, for the money I'm not gonna complain too much so anyways I've already disabled the fuel I got this thing preset. Uh, I got it in the red range. I'm not sure what this right here is. Um, I'm not sure. So, again, uh, I, I didn't see anything in the instructions. I'll have to go over it again about that. So, here's our charge, cap, I don't know what the heck that is, and then our range, which is in the red. So we're expecting to read, um, I don't know, somewhere in the hundreds range 100 and something ish it's kind of windy here today so i apologize if you're getting all this uh noise in the background okay so let's go in here and just uh give it a test let's go ahead and put you guys up here for now and uh I'm gonna try doing some uh, some screen recording. So uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, something that I started uh, here recently, um, and I was kind of proud of the last one I did. I, I lost a lot of footage. I don't know why, but um, I was able to give a little bit of it. So, anyways, let's go ahead and I already got this preset. I got it at two volts. Uh, one one volt equals 100 psi i got the time base at 200 milliseconds per division so let's go ahead move this out of the way uh let's go ahead and hit the play button i already got a trigger set and let's go for it all right and we'll stop it right there Okay, so we have a little, I would say about uh, half a volt, roughly. So that would translate to maybe 50, no, that, that's not right. Um, that's not right at all. Did I mess something up here? It should be more than that, in my opinion. Okay. How accurate is this? That's yet to be seen. But I definitely got a pattern. 
they definitely got a pattern um oops I definitely have a pattern did I zero this uh, tool okay let's go ahead and see what I got here oh, no, that's not what I want I didn't hit the zero beforehand. I don't know if that has something to do with it. So let's try this again. See what the deal is. Okay. There we go. Okay, so initially it Oh, there we go. I know what I did. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to, uh, open the throttle. Let me back this up. Why am I not seeing anything? All right, let's just do it again. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so uh, we have the uh, compression stroke, then we have uh, the exhaust stroke, the intake, and then the compression again so the compression our power stroke exhaust intake and then compression again okay so we have all four strokes um, not what I expected to see here I expected to see a little bit more waviness here so we're looking at about uh, 100 and almost 100, about 120 psi, probably more, 120 something psi. I would assume. Seems like a healthy, uh, well, I know it's a healthy uh, compression because there's no problem with this car. Um, let's try a running compression. Let's try that. How about that? Okay, so let me go ahead and pop this fuse back in okay so we're back and i went ahead and um put the uh fuel pump fuse back in i disabled that number one fuel injector i don't want to get no fuel into the tool so we're gonna go ahead and hit play here and we're gonna crank it up okay there we go that seems like a more uh Let's go ahead and change the, uh, let's put this at one volt so we get to see more detail. Let's change this to, not too much or too little, should I say. There we go. Okay, so there we have. Okay, we got about, uh, see some noise here, but we got about, 50 just below 50 psi running compression it's about half of what we had before so that's to be expected and uh let's see here is this perfectly where's the zero mark Okay, 
this line right here should be the zero so we got our power here our exhaust very little exhaust back pressure that's good all right so we, we definitely got something we got our intake now one thing i do like about this uh, ultra what alta has done obviously they don't have this in the probe selection but what they do is they actually have a setup for certain probes and and it'll actually give you the reading here instead of reading a voltage or something and then you having to translate that they actually go ahead and uh they actually go ahead and um do it for you so i definitely like that they don't have one for a pressure transducer i don't think uh probe setting see they have these different settings here with the current amp and all that coil unplug probe secondary secondary yeah so i wonder if i can make my own i see something here that says uh, currently no data on user user defined probe hmm so I wonder if I can um, maybe do my own. I'm not sure. So these are already built into the program, which is awesome. I've used the actual current clamps. And again, this is kind of going outside of the realm of this video, so I'm not gonna blab too much about that, but I felt it was worthwhile mentioning. So there we have it. We have our first, uh, let's put the trigger on here to kind of stabilize this a little bit. We got our very own, um, or our first waveform, I should say. We got our first waveform. It seems to be working. Again, I'm not very proficient with this. I'm just starting. But uh, as we use it more and more, we'll get better, no doubt. So it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Again, maybe some of you guys are more in tune to these things and uh, leave me comments leave me comments and let me know what you think uh, what am I doing wrong you know teach me teach me oh wise ones and uh, we'll get better with time so uh, I encourage you all to like and subscribe uh, if at all possible and thank you so much for your support I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video uh, with uh, with this and um, what else? We'll catch you on the next video when maybe we'll use this for some troubleshooting or maybe going more in depth in it. Um, maybe I'll install it in my truck or something and then we'll play around with it. So let me know what you guys uh, think about that if you, you're interested in watching that. And then I'll, I'll be sure to put that on my to-do list. So again, as always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next video. Ciao.